Hey you. Hey you. Good evening and morning to ya. It's always interesting when different people arrive at the same conclusion. Person A comes up with an idea, and then later on, person B has a similar but fundamentally different idea. Jim Gaffigan and Louis C.K., yeah, I know, are some of my favorite comedians, and they both come up with jokes about the shame of eating a Cinnabon. Both are hilarious. In fact, I just watched them again right now, and you should too. Intentionally or not, consciously or subconsciously, ideas bleed over and inspire the next idea. And as long as the one that comes next is actually good or better, I'm all for it. One of Star Citizen's recently released ships, The Nomad by Consolidated Outland, definitely has some things in common with Elite Dangerous Space Snakes, the Asp Scout, and the Asp Explorer. The Asp Scout is a slightly cheaper, way less frills, even fewer fans version of the Explorer variant. So when anybody's talking about the Nomad looking like an Elite Dangerous ship, they're pretty much comparing it to the Asp Explorer, so we'll keep the focus there. So grab your favorite quarantine snacks, sit back, and ride this comparison out with your boy. Like up, sub up, and ring up like a boss. The good old aspects. When I first got mine, it was one of the illest ships I'd flown. Slick angular look while also having some size on it. Like I might be out there dancing with the stars, but don't let the smooth taste fool you. I still drop bows on them. Visually, they look very similar, asymmetrical hexagons, protruding greenhouse style cockpit. It's not hard to see why commanders flew memes from here to Hutton Orbital when the Nomad dropped. But as soon as you start looking at profiles or moving the camera around the ship, the idea of identical falls apart pretty quick. From directly above, Nomad is more Stingray-like than the completely polygonal Asp. Once you get a look at the rear, party's over. They could be cousins, but definitely not siblings. Even though you don't get the sense of scale, it's pretty obvious that the Asp is much bigger, 56 and a half meters long, compared to the Nomad's much shorter, 26 and a half meters. The Asp is 51.3 meters wide, compared to 18.3, and is 19.7 meters tall, compared to 9.2. The Nomad is closer in size to the Cobra Mark III, except it's only half as wide as that. Which one looks better? Well. Who knows, man? That's up to you, isn't it? The big bulk of the asp combined with the almost smooth angles of the hole are mysteriously intimidating. Like, is the tech that built the pyramids 5,000 years ago housed inside of this thing? what's in the box? A lot of folks really dig the asp explorer's cockpit. It's perfect for explorers who want an unfettered view of all the sights to behold. Personally, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> it's basically a greenhouse with a chair and no plants. Can we get some plant flare? Oh wait, we got some, okay, all right, all right. It gets a little lonely and isolated feeling when you look around and there's just nothing but you and your chair. Either way, it gives you an almost completely unobstructed view aside from the console and a few struts. Struts are something you hear mentioned a lot in Star Citizen. This ship has too many struts. What's with all the struts? How does this not have struts? What strut are you on? You're a bad little strutty ship, aren't you? Yes, yes. The Nomad strut situation is similar to the Asp, minus the thinner ones. The overall cockpit is much smaller, but the layout in general is familiar. It's got a nice cozy seat compared to the Asp Captain Pike menagerie chair. <laughs> Maybe not. Side note, whoever is manufacturing the one chair that goes in every elite ship is making a killing. Somebody call an antitrust lawyer, but I digest. The Nomad's wraparound console is a beautiful thing with its soft lit combo of multifunction displays and buttons. Buttons aren't toys. All sitting underneath the Xiaomi transparent OLED display. Not much else to say. They're both the bee's knees if you want to be able to seize. Actually, there is one more thing. The Asp has an identical co-pilot cockpit directly underneath it, accessible by a ladder from the pilot cockpit. This was good for me since it was the only way I was able to see the center of the Milky Way, courtesy of my dude, Commander Blackout. I might have never seen it for myself otherwise. That's a long trip, man. That's a long trip, Brody. As for the rest of the ship interior, we'll be waiting a good while to see what the rest of the ass look like. Being so much bigger than the Nomad, the sky's the limit as to what they can put in it. But for now, enjoy this fan-made ass interior created in Space Engineers by Such Sneak. I think that's his name. The Nomad isn't even close to the size of the ass, but Spartan it is not. Directly behind the cockpit, you got living quarters complete with sink, stove, microwave, 
and plenty of room for your spices and get jacked powder. Also space for the accoutrement of home that you can bring with you. Moving further back, you've got storage space to keep from cluttering your ship, systems component access, and a toilet you can sit on with the door wide open because why not? It's just you, it's just you out there, man. Swing that door open. One thing that always kind of bothered me are the little bird legs that the app stands on. <laughs> Skipped every single leg day for the last five years. The chicken little legs would fit better on the Nomad, but it bypassed landing gear altogether and hovers in place. In its heart, the Asp Explorer is for star hopping, but it's also a multi-purpose ship. It doesn't have the biggest teeth for Somali weapons, but it does have six hard points to let pirates know they might have picked the wrong one today. The Nomad has three weapon mounts and ten stock missiles to put a little sting on overconfident smaller ships, but it's not taking down dedicated fighters with somebody hot in the seat or punching far above his weight class. For a size, the Aspects has a decent amount of room to configure it into a lower tier cargo runner or a miner, but you won't get rich quick using it that way. But if you're out in the black, you got enough room to bring an SRV to run around any interesting moons you come across. This ship is built for long jumping from system to system without being completely stripped down to its draws. Nomad is a good old pickup truck. It's not a fighter, not an explorer. It's for stacking cargo and anything else that'll fit on the back and getting it where it needs to go with a good degree of comfort. A Ford Super Duty with the Lariat package. Got freight? Good. Throw it back there. Got a speeder bike or a miner on wheels? Good. Throw it on the back. Performance wise is what you would expect when comparing ships so far apart in size. Stock the Aspects maxes out at 254 meters per second versus the Nomad's 1171 meters per second. Can you really compare speed between the universes though? Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous? Not at all, man. They're based on two very different approaches to physics and the capabilities of the craft are literally a universe apart. My buddies at Ghost Giraffe and Commander Minikill engineered the fastest ship in Elite Dangerous which clocked at 932 meters per second. Lightning fast in Elite Dangerous, but only slightly faster than Star Citizen's Constellation Andromeda, which nobody would accuse of being speedy. At the end of the day, it's a meaningless comparison, so moving on. Another tough comparison is figuring out where these ships land in your career path. Ain't nobody trying to attempt a currency conversion, but the Asp Explorer's 6.8 million credit tag is probably reasonably close to what the Nomad will cost in game in the next month or so, which I'm guessing will be somewhere around 1.1 to one and a quarter million. Someone brand new to the games, but pretty focused and working smart and maybe no life in it, could get either ship in the span of a few days. Obviously not everyone earns at the same pace or even cares to be driven by the credits, so your kilometer ridge will vary, but they're both attainable fairly early in your career. There's all kind of ways to compare the two, but the most important thing that counts, the only thing that counts, is are they fun? Yeah! Being able to bounce around the galaxy and back, then reconfigure the ASP for various jobs, not a bad way to spend a week. Throwing a green rock on the bed and taking it out for some good old mining is a satisfying way to feel like you accomplished something. They're fun, man. And that's where you can say they're related. So do yourself a favor and fly both of them like you stole them. Big 2021 boss love shout out to the 13, ah, 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 13 wise men. Thanks for keeping the lights on over here. Odin by the beard of Odin, we shall have red jello. Gino Garone, aka Mr. Safety Speeder. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I don't know where I was going today. Hold on the claim jumper Esquire. Mysterious Mike Alvira watching from the shadows. Saucy one the flossy one marathon streaming. Slick Dick Dansley. Candy is dandy. Commander Ride Out Blackout ones and two spinning in rotation. Shot and King the Chris Roberts game veteran fiend. Phantasm aka Games R Us. JP Stravinsky making the ones and zeros align in the ether and the matrix. Sweet jumps. What's he doing? Whatever he feels like. Gosh. Eyes open 2018. Hope your eyes is open this 2021, man. And Momo racing through Daymar, but never in slow-mo. Much appreciated, execs. 
Big 7 Up salute and shout out to all the fans supporting the Dig That Arts and the Space Sam Arts. Salute to the mother, Buster Boy, Guillotine Girl, SM, Generalissimo, Commander Dr. Digital, Space Pirate McMorrin, go check him out, Zayla Maru, Commander Leviathan Soul, Time Out Fall, Twanky, Twanky Twan, Train Man Rob, Dead Eye Eye O, Buster Psycho, Figment, Evil Weasel, Titan Prime, Crash Test, Zed, Mito, Cool Breeze, aka Blue Leader, and Captain Rico El Jefe. Hey, big thanks, Fambinos. My name is Dig That, and I switched up from eggnog to champagne. Fly dirty citizens.